So now we're gonna roll our back and our neck and warm up that area as well. Remember that your neck is part of your spine, so it all is one thing. Um, so now we're gonna roll the lower back. We're gonna get very deeply into the uh, back, like low back muscles, like the QL muscle, quadratus lumborum. And it goes from, it goes sideways here and up just to the very low rib. So we're just gonna roll here and here, left and right, making an L shape. So the first thing is we're gonna be on our elbows facing the ceiling and I'm gonna put that ball in the corner of my back, but not on my spine or on my iliac crest, the bone. So once I've found that corner, I'm gonna bring my hands to the side and then I'm gonna tuck my hips in. So I'm gonna pull my pubic bone towards my ribs so I can lengthen my back muscles and get a bit of a resistance stretch straight away. So from here, I'm gonna walk uh, bring the ball up my back just to about my low rib you should feel a sensation change and then I like to hold it there because that for me is one of my trouble areas you can tell from the way I'm breathing it is normal to feel um, sort of like a numbing or quite a dull ache there if you feel anything sharp definitely ease off we're not looking for anything sharp at all and then I roll back down and then out towards my left side just to, again, a place where I think I can feel it. Wherever you feel you feel it the most, stay there, hold it, and just allow it to relax. Keep tucking those hips in. My spot is up high, so I like to stay there. So I always stay for about 30 seconds or up to three minutes, whatever works for you. Just try and breathe through it and relax. And then we're gonna move into our upper back and neck. So we'll go against the wall for this and we're going to roll the side of our back but without going on the spine. So what we'll do is we'll put the ball around about there, the middle of the back, and then I'm going to lean on the wall. And then I'm going to open up my shoulder blades so that way they've pulled apart and so the muscles in my back are, are like free to be rolled. And then I'm just going to go up and down not on the spine, just to the side of the spine. And then left and right. Now this for me is super clunky on this side. But if you find, you may have seen that clunk. If you find anything like that, you can roll over it or beside it, whatever you can endure really. And then coming down. Then you can tuck your chin into your chest and bring that ball down to like mid back. And roll there, sort of the other side of where we were rolling on the ground. And then I'm gonna bring that ball up to the top of my shoulder there. And I'm gonna do the upper part of my back and the base of my neck. So I'm gonna roll the ball left and right. Here I quite like to apply a lot of pressure, but it does depend on what, what you like and how you feel comfortable. Then I'm gonna bring my chin to my chest to length of my neck and roll that ball up, but not on my spine, just to the right side of my spine or the left, wherever you are. And then up and down and left and right. You can do this for like 30 seconds, up to three minutes and just you can move your neck a little bit if you want to get a bit of resistance stretch, making sure you're well away from your spine and you've got a decent amount of pressure as well. And then coming all the way up. Oh, I love that one, it's so nice. Then we're gonna just do a few stretches. So we're gonna stay up against the wall. Okay, so I'm gonna take my right hand, bend my right leg and take my right hand to the outside of my left ankle. And then I'm gonna rotate. I'm pulling this all the way in while I rotate and I'm still pushing my left hand into the wall, looking right under my armpit. And then change legs and rotate that all the way up to the sky. I'm pushing this hip back all the way and then under. And then I change sides. And bring that hand up towards the sky to rotate my middle back around here 
and just do that three or four times. And then we'll stretch our neck. So you can just have your hands out like this, open palm I say first, and then reach your hand onto the side of your head, so opposite, but not to pull down, more like just to allow a little bit of weight. And you're gonna keep that shoulder, this side, driving away. And keep lifting up through your back as well, rather than collapsing. And then turn to look towards that opposite knee. say about 20 seconds for each would be fine and then bringing yourself up nicely do the other side as well and then just take a light, nice look left and right that's it